Hi, in this episode we're going to go through seven data science projects to start with. This video is based on the one of the articles I have written on Medium and is part of the ongoing collaboration book project that I have. And in this video we're going to go in detail with some of those things. So those are, those are the things that you want hear here, you want read only on Medium here. Uh, so let's go into that. Uh, so basically Building your portfolio of data science projects is super important because this will determine your career and also this will boost your skills in the beginning. Uh, so there are a couple of things you have to know as a junior data scientist when you're looking for like entry level position and want to find your first job. Uh, basically there are a bunch of uh, standard stuff you have to know uh, at least know the names of so you can recall all those names here. So basically those are the names here uh, that I have. Uh, so first of all, you have to know pandas and numpy for importing and processing data. Uh, then there are a bunch of classification techniques, uh, KNN, uh, K nearest neighbors being the most common of them. Uh, this is basically to, uh, once you have the labels, uh, to classify based on the labels. Then you have clustering of data. So for unsupervised learning where you don't have any labels and the two standard techniques here are k-means and db-scan. Uh, both are very common, especially if you're doing unsupervised learning. Uh, the next thing is regression and prediction, and there are different regression techniques like linear and polynomial regression, um, and that goes uh, into multi-polynomial regression and a bunch of other functions you can use to predict and do regression on data in order to, you know, like have a spreadsheet which you import and then have a bunch of values which are missing and you're trying to predict those. Like for example, what sales you will do uh, in the next 10 months? This is the standard question. Another thing that you need to know is dimensionality reduction. Uh, so projecting to uh, the most important coordinates uh, or just simply sizing down you because your data set is too big, you have too many features, too many columns, nor, not everything is really important and you want to uh, shrink the, the size down to make them more meaningful analysis on that. Uh, the standard technique is PCA, so this is the projection uh, based on um, values of vectors, uh, based on eigenvalues, uh, based on eigenvectors, the whole analysis is based on that. Uh, and there are SVM is super vector machines, another st standard technique in dimensionality reduction. Uh, and those two techniques you have to know uh, in order to really do uh, something, at least in order to start. But of course, when it comes to dimensionality reduction, you have also techniques like just basically looking at the data and if you know something about the domain, then often expertise in a given domain uh, can beat uh, those naive techniques. So for example, if you know something about real estate or housing, you can uh, be much more efficient with what features to extract often in the beginning. Because of course, if you're doing more advanced more involved machine learning techniques, uh, this will be better than what you could achieve even with expert knowledge. Uh, finally, the, the thing uh, about visualization of data, Matplotlib and Plotly are the two common libraries for uh, visualization of anything, of uh, describing graphs, so this is something you should learn as well. And of course, machine learning stuff, this is done with Keras TensorFlow most usually, especially Keras is easy to enter. Uh, of course, there's also PyTorch, which you can use. FastAI has its own library, uh, which is well known. But I would say definitely that Keras is something you start with because basically Keras is the way to go uh, when it comes to building models. It's super simple. Just a sim couple of lines of code will allow you to build your first neural network, as we will see later on in this uh, video uh, when we talk about MNIST and handwritten digits. Uh, all the examples are in Keras. So Keras is the, the, definitely the easiest to start when it comes to machine learning. Yeah, so let's start with uh, the list of seven data science projects. My idea here is that uh, those will allow you to master all of those common techniques and libraries that I mentioned and really boost your data science uh, career. Uh, and they are very important. So the most important thing to remember is that you really have to code your way through. It's not enough that you take some Jupyter notebook from someone and just go through that, do, seeing that the code works. You have to really write all the code yourself in order to understand it and then 
really execute it, compile it in order to see that it works and it produces the results that you want it to produce. That's a very important part. And the rest of this video is part of data science job course that I'm running. So if you're interested in getting a job in data science, either as a data scientist, data analyst, machine learning engineer, and you don't have a computer science degree, then this course is for you. Simply follow the link and sign up to learn more. Thank you.